Hey YouTube, this is Glock Ninja, and welcome to another unboxing. This time we're going to be unboxing the Galaxy Nexus. Highly anticipated phone, folks. I mean, I've passed up at least three good phones waiting for this phone to come out. Okay? At least uh, the Resound and uh, uh, the Android Razor. Okay? And also the Droid 3, which I was really wanting to get when it first came out. But I just waited a little bit to see if uh, other phones would be coming out. Especially the iPhone 5. And there was no sign of that ever coming out. So that was not a contender at all um, yeah, after a little bit. You know, uh, I just gave up on that. So, um, it, you know, I'm a hardcore Droid user. And I'm used to the hard, uh, you know, corded keyboard. Uh, I'm going to do away with that right now and, and go with the larger screen size and uh, see if it works for me. And uh, the largest screen size of them all right here, folks, the Galaxy Nexus. All right, let's unbox this right now. A real plain, simple box. Um, kind of disappointed. It's just really plain. Uh, it has the Verizon logo on here on the back. It gives you the uh, package contents. It comes with the Galaxy Nexus, standard lithium-ion battery, wall USB charger, uh, wired stereo headset, and quick reference guide, product safety and warranty brochure. All right, so uh, the box is pretty sturdy, heavy-duty box, nice pretty red lining inside. Uh, there is the beauty right there, okay? Um take the baby out um, huge screen 4.6 inch screen okay uh, nice AMOLED screen Samsung's trademark uh, not sure why the camera keeps turning on alright but um ice cream sandwich OS all right, I have the Easy Tether and iSync in there. The iSync's not working. I don't know why. I'm not sure if it's not ready to work with Ice Cream Sandwich yet or not. I haven't tested the Easy Tether yet either, so I'll do a video on that some other time. Um, so far, the phone looks great. I had to play around with the uh, brightness control a little bit. Now it's looking pretty good. Um, not a lot of apps already on there. It's pretty bare bone minimum, and that's the way a lot of people like it. It's the pure uh, Google experience. Um, you don't have a lot of bloatware on this phone. Um, you do have a couple of Verizon stuff on there, but um, you don't get a lot of the uh, game demos and other stuff that the other phones get. So you, there's not much in there right now. Um, Let's go on and see what's underneath the cover here. You get your manual, warranty book. You get the uh, free headphones. Let's take those out and see what they look like. Unwrap it. There you go. Um, the wire does not feel very um, high quality at all. Uh, the Dr. Dre Resound uh, unboxing that I did where the, uh, head, the Beats headphones, earbuds come with it, those um, wires actually felt a lot uh, softer and heavier duty. This one here feels a little chintzier and uh, the plastic quality of the wire is not that, much, that better. It's not, uh, it's not that good. Uh, but I mean, uh, it's not cheap. It's not the cheapest I've felt, but it's it's not the highest quality. Uh, as I saw the uh, Dr. Dre Beats headphones to be. Here's uh, the, these headphones. These earbuds can be used to make calls and receive calls. Here's the uh, controls right here on the wire. Um, the earbuds have a, a, a nice chrome plastic look to them and a glossy black plastic finish. Um, that's what the earbuds look like. Not bad. Uh, see what they sound like. 
put them. Here's the. Well, everybody know what this is. It's the USB cable and the wall charger. Now these USB chargers and the wall chargers, they are interchangeable with other uh, smartphones, so uh, I'm still able to use my wall charger for my Android Droid phone. Okay, that's a USB connect, wall connect. All right, and nothing further. But that's the phone. Pretty nice. Four point six inches right there, buddies. It's real nice. Now, um, now he, here's the thing: it's, it's it's a pretty thin phone, and the back plastic is smooth. It's not it's not grippy or rubbery at all. So uh, if you if you have a pretty dry hand or um, uh, soft hands, uh, it feels very slippery in your hands. I've already dropped it once, and uh, that wasn't really from just holding it like this, but it was from uh, taking it off the table and holding it while I was doing something else, and it just slipped out of my hands. So yes, I will be getting a uh, OtterBox um, Defender series case for this to make the grip more uh, substantial and so that it doesn't slide out of my hands while I hold it. Uh, aside from that, it's a very thin phone. It should be no problems carrying it around in your shirt pocket or your pants pocket, but I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, it's not a very heavy duty phone. Uh, the plastic is not very, it doesn't feel very uh, sturdy, especially when the uh, back panel is off, the panel is very thin. Um, but when the phone is all together like this, it doesn't feel too bad. But I uh, definitely would not carry the phone uh, like this at all, uh, so you could damage it. It feels like you can. I dropped it once. I haven't seen any marks on the phone, but um, uh, it, de it definitely would. You would have to put it in a case. I already have a screen protector on it, so uh, that's done. But overall. Uh, pretty good looking phone screen size is what what I uh, what got me to uh, get this phone 4.6 inches um, the only drawback of this phone is is that it doesn't have the micro SD card it has built-in memory of 32 gigs okay so essentially what what you're buying is like a iPhone with 32 gigs built in it's no SD cards micro SD cards or nothing like that it's already built in you can't expand the memory, but it's 32 gigs, so it's plenty there, okay? Um, you can take the back panel off and change the batteries. It has an 1850 uh, milliamp battery, so the battery size is a pretty fairly decent size uh, battery. The only thing I'm disappointed with uh, this whole purchase uh, experience was that uh, that the store did not have any OtterBox Defender Series cases for these these phones. It did they did have a um, other cases for them, but it uh, it didn't work very well. Um, I forget the name of that one case that they had in stock. Um, they put it on. It looked okay, but then the volume buttons and the and, and the uh, power buttons weren't working properly with the case on there. So I opted to wait for the uh, OtterBox Defender Series to come out. It's not out yet. I've gone on their website and uh, they haven't even they don't even have one made or designed yet. Uh, it's the I can't the picture where the picture goes. It says uh, coming soon. So. Um, I'm probably going to be waiting a while for that one, but um, once again, it's a pretty decent looking phone. It's five megapixel camera with a flash. The there is no shutter speed. Uh, there is no shutter lag on this camera. So as soon as you press the button, click the picture is taken. Okay, and the picture quality and the and the video quality looks pretty good. I I did play around with this a little bit. And uh, it's not it's not always the megapixel. It's five megapixels, so it's not.
that high of a uh, you know uh, uh, resolution, but um, you know this does take 1080p. This does take 1080p video, and the megapixel is five megapixel, but it's it's a good quality uh, camera. Uh, the lens is okay. It appears to be okay. Um, shutter speed's pretty good. Work good working camera. For a phone device, um, I don't think you can expect any more than that. Um, it's 4G LTE. What else can I say about the phone uh, that people don't know already? Uh, people already don't know about. Um, here's the um, audio plug right here at the bottom. The charging port right there. Yeah, real nice phone. All right, so in about a week um, or so, I will be making a review video of this phone um, after I do the uh, call quality test and also play around with the browsing uh, speeds and and the uh, 3G and 4G network. Uh, see how that work out there on the street. Uh, and uh, in about a week, I should do a review video of this phone. Until then, enjoy yourselves, enjoy the video, and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, stand by for the review video of this phone. It's going to be a part two, part two for this video, and uh, thanks for watching.